Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from DW Vibes and in this video lecture, I'm going to explain how you can solve a circuit containing a diode and in this uh, particular problem, I'm going to treat the diode or considering, I'm going to consider the diode as a complete diode model. And for that, you have been given the dynamic resistance of the diode equal to 10 ohms. First of all, we will see that either this diode is forward biased or the reverse biased. Since you can see that the positive current or the total current I is flowing through this circuitry and it's the positive current. When it will reach at this junction, it will take two paths one through the diode and other through this resistor. So basically the current will be divided at this junction. Since this current is positive, that's why the positive current is entering at the anode terminal while the cathode terminal is held at the zero potential. That's why this diode is forward biased. So this is the first prediction that we will make and then I'll draw the equivalent circuit of this in order to evaluate the voltages across the diode. Alright, we know that the equivalent model or the complete diode model is actually drawn like that. Uh, since it, it is the forward bias diode, so the dynamic resistor of this diode will be connected in series and we replace the diode with a 0.7 volt battery and the battery uh, will have the positive terminal at the anode point while cathode is represented as the negative terminal of the battery. If we are assuming or considering the silicon diode, so the voltage drop across it will be 0.7 volts, alright. Another thing is Rd which is given equal and it is equals to 10 ohms, fine. If we know the current flowing through this resistor, if I mark this current as the IF, we will be able to determine the overall voltages across the diode which will be represented as Vf. Fine. So the first task is to determine IF or the total current which is equal to the total current of the this circuitry. In order to determine the total current of this circuitry we need the total resistor of this particular circuit and in order to draw the total circuitry what we do we replace the voltage sources with the short circuits fine then we have the resistor then we have another resistor okay at this point you can see there was another resistor it's grounded basically this point is also grounded and since the diode equivalent model is something like that Okay, if you want to consider the dynamic resistance uh, right now, you can do that or otherwise uh, you can also say that like at this junction, which is actually here, you were having FY 4.7 volt resistor and then there comes the dynamic resistance of the diode and the battery again will be replaced by the short circuitry. Okay, so let's just simplify it further. It's equal to 1 kilo ohms. It's equal to 1.5 kilo ohms. It's equal to 4.7 K. And it, this was also 4.7 K. While this resistor was equal to 10 ohms, which is equal to the dynamic resistor, resistance of this circuitry. Since these two are connected in series, so let's just add them up you will have four point seven 
kilo ohms plus 10 ohms since these resistors in series are connected are added then this equivalent resistor is actually connected in parallel so you will take their parallel combination 4.7 kilo ohms after finding their equivalent the resistor or the equivalent circuit will be something like that 1.5k while over here you will have a single resistor fine so this is 1.5 this is 1k and this will be our equivalent of these so let's just simplify these values first the parallel combination of these two resistors will be found like this resistor will be equal to 4, 7, 10, 0, then 4700, 4.7k and then what we do we add them up so 4710 will be added into 4700 in this way we find the parallel combination of the two resistors on simplification you can see that its value is equal to 2352.49 ohms or in case of the kilo ohms you can also say that it's equal to 2.35 kilo ohms okay so this resistor is actually equal to 2.35 kilo ohms when you will add 1.5k into it this will become 3.85k and then this 1k resistor is also connected in series with them so the overall resistor or the r total resistance will be equal to it's equal to the summation of 1.5k and then plus 1 kilo ohms which comes out to be 4.85 2 kilo ohms i am just considering considering till the three decimal places okay now you are having the total resistance of this circuitry the next step is to find the total current so i total is equal to i is equal to v over r we will just apply this formula v is equal to 30 volt in this case okay since we are considering the complete diode model so this barrier potential will be subtracted from here which is equal to 0 0.7 volts and then the total it will be divided with the total resistance of the circuitry which is equal to 4.852 kilo ohms so what you are going to do you will do 3 minus 30 minus 0 0.7 divided by the resistance so the total current IT will be 6.03 milli amperes. Okay. This is the total current. Now you have to be very careful for determining the value of the current. Since this is the total current that is provided by the source and the current flowing through this resistor and this resistor is actually IT, the total current. When it reaches at this point, since you know that current is divided in the parallel path, so this current will be divided along this path and this path. Let's just call this current as ID and call this current and I1. I am interested in determining the value of ID. If you have some total current IT and it is going to be divided into two resistors, let's call them R1 and R2. Okay, and the corresponding current is I1 and I2. Here, this is the total current IT. So according to the current deviation rule, if I want to determine I2, then the value of the opposite resistor is written as first. So it's equal to R1, then 
द समेशन ऑफ बोथ रजिस्टर्स आर वन एंड आर टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टोटल करंट दिस इज बेसिकली दी करंट डिवीजन रूल विच वी विल अप्लाई राइट हियर एज यू हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ द टोटल करंट आई टी एंड आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन डिटर्मिनिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आई डी सो आई डी विल बी इक्वल टू we will take the opposite resistor which is equal to 4.7 kilo ohms and we will divide it with the summation of 4.7 kilo ohms plus the total resistance right here which is equal to 4710 why because the dynamic resistance is added and then you will multiply it with the total current which is equal to 6.03 milli amperes in this case okay this is the diode current id let's just simplify it and determine its value so this is equal to 3.015 milli amperes okay this is the diode current now the last step is left which is very simple as we have found the value of the id okay so the voltage is across the diode vd is equal to Vf plus Id into Rd. Vf is equal to zero point seven volts plus three point zero one five milliampere into ten ohms. So let's just multiply it with ten ten ohms and add zero point seven volts in it. You will get the value of the voltages. of the diode which is equal to 0.73 volts so in this way by considering different diode models you can simplify your circuitry now the i am assigning a question for your for you people if you want to try this one and you can solve this circuitry and post this solution in the comment section uh and what you have to do the first step is you have to tell me either this diode is forward biased or the reverse biased this is the first question okay the second question is you have to determine the voltages across the diode by considering it as a com uh, practical diode model as a as an ideal diode model or as a complete diode model once you are done with that you have to find the current through the circuitry as well so this is the circuit diagram i hope you can solve it uh, with the same concept that i have used or deliver thank you for watching